This is Brian Mounts. I run TurfMechanic.com and the Turf Mechanic YouTube channel. Today I'm going to answer the question, how tall should you mow your grass? It's a question that people have all across the country, many different kinds of grass types, many, many different kinds of lawnmowers. There's many different answers to this question because it actually kind of matters uh, where you live, what your ground looks like, what kind of grass you have installed, what your mowing patterns are. There's lots of variables that go into this. Very generally speaking, your grass should probably be between two inches and four inches. Now, lawnmowers, let me pull one in here. Lawnmowers have these cool things, especially these modern ones whole thing just goes up and down. The bottom of this mower, according to the manual, is an inch and a half. According to the manual, the top is four inches. Now, in between is where most people put it. That's about three inches. I cut mine on the third setting, which is probably about two and a quarter. This grass right here was cut about five days ago. Uh, so it is getting a little bit longer and it is currently Let's see that blade right there is pushing three inches depends on which one is standing up. It's about two and a half this mower is Probably going to cut a little bit off the top of this grass at this setting, but not a lot and That is key no matter what grass type you have no matter what mower you have no matter what setting you prefer the important thing to know is you should cut the grass so that only a little bit comes off of the top. Now, certain grass types do prefer different lengths. Uh, for instance, you can get uh, perennial rye grass, very short, a good inch can be done easily, but only if your lawn is really, really level, like tabletop level. So if you're yard has lots of humps and lumps in it then these lower settings are out they're just out you can't use them it doesn't matter if you've got like a bermuda lawn or a perennial rye like you just can't get down that low because you've got lots of scalping going on uh, throughout the whole yard and every time you mow another thing to to point out is that if your lawn is I should say if you like to cut your lawn once a week or once every 10 days then you have to mow your grass higher like you've got to bring it up every single lawnmower manual out there every single lawn care professional out there will tell you that if you want a healthy lawn you should never cut off more than a third of the blade if that means if you've got a three inch blade you shouldn't be cutting off more than one inch of the blade if you've got a six inch grass blade you shouldn't be cutting two inches off there are lots of people out there who like to let the grass grow super duper long and then cut it way down that way they don't have to cut it very often that's a terrible way to keep a good lawn because it stresses the grass out so much it's very hard for for a turf lawn to to thrive uh, in that environment, in that like extreme growth and then just getting it hacked off. Like it just doesn't work out well. Uh, if you want healthy grass, if you want a healthy turf, only cut a little bit off at a time. That brings us into the next point. If you've got tall grass, you can go longer between mows. You know, assuming your grass isn't growing two inches every three days, which it probably isn't. If you've got four inch grass, it can grow a full two inches before you can cut it and still maintain that healthy one third rule. If, however, you want to only cut it at an inch and a half, then that means that grass can only grow about a half of an inch before you got to cut it back down. That means if you want a shorter lawn, which I do prefer a shorter lawn, but if you want a shorter lawn, you have to mow it more frequently. So if you want to mow short, then that means you have to mow it tall enough to not scalp, depending on how flat your lawn space is. Once you get past that threshold, then you have to mow it frequently enough 
so that you're not breaking that one third of the grass blade rule. Now it's not a rule that like, you know, the police are gonna come. This is a rule that basically says, if you break it, your grass is going to be, I don't know, it's just not gonna do as well. If you wanna keep it short, you have to cut it frequently. If you can't commit to cutting your grass every three days, four days, five days, then you have to bring this up to a higher setting. Uh, the higher setting, I mean a good three and a half inches up off of the ground is gonna give you more window. You'll probably be able to go once a week. You'll probably be able to get the, mo the grass mowed every Saturday and everything will be healthy. Um, if, however, you bring it all the way to the top and you're mowing it once every seven to 10 days, but you're noticing that the grass blades are starting to fall over. They're starting to, to limp and, and uh, kind of settle on top of themselves. That's kind of a bad, that's obviously a bad sign too. When that happens, the, lawn, the lawnmower is going over it and it might be causing enough suction underneath to pull it up and cut it, but a lot of those blades just aren't getting cut. So they continue to grow and they start flattening out and then you can start running into other problems. Fungus comes to mind first, but basically your grass will be uneven. It will be, uh, it just won't be healthy. You're gonna eventually start seeing signs of stress, signs of, uh, you know, browning of the lawn. Uh, it's just not gonna to work out. So if you're starting to sense that a lot of your grass blades are starting to flop over because because you're letting it go too long, then you really have to bring this down. And that might mean that you have to mow it more frequently. You can get by by bringing it down and mowing it infrequently, but you're just gonna have to be okay with the fact that your lawn is not going to look its best all the time. So certain grass types are prefer shorter, perennial rye, Bermuda grass, uh, Kentucky bluegrass, is a good in-between grass. It's quite flexible. You can get it shorter, down to an inch and a half, two inches. You can get it longer, all the way up to four inches. It should be fine anywhere in that zone, so long as you keep it in that zone and always kind of do the same thing. It's like you're training it to a height. Other grasses, tall fescues, um, some of your southern warm season grasses, uh, uh, they prefer much higher and they can go quite high, you know, four and a half, five inches even. Um, but only certain grass types really can do well at that height. Obviously the benefit is you don't have to mow it as often, but let your, the lay of your land and the frequency of your mowing uh, routine dictate your height. And then find the pattern that works for you and stick to it the whole year. The training of the grass blade is an, it's an important facet and it's underappreciated. Do the same thing every week, week in, week out for the whole season and your lawn is going to be better regardless of the height that you choose.